Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kevin. I just want to give you guys all a big welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the Otaku Collection, uh, my Otaku Collection to be more specific. Um, this is a new project for me, a new endeavour that I've taken on. Um, I really want to be able to bring you guys frequent uh, videos and content around anime, manga, video games, comics, uh, all sorts of uh, otaku culture topics. Um, Stuff you know I'm really passionate about, I know you guys are passionate about, uh, stuff we can discuss at length and you know we all have a lot of opinions about. Um, I have been following the manga tuber and anime community uh, on YouTube and Twitter uh, for quite a while now actually, but I've never really had the time or chance to engage with you guys as much as I wanted to or should have. Uh, work, life, uh, just time constraints never really allowed for it. Um, however, this year there has been a lot of changes in my life. Uh, my work life right now at the moment, uh, my work routine, uh, it allows me uh, to really enjoy some of my more time consuming hobbies, which I consider watching anime, reading manga, playing video games, to be all pretty time consuming hobbies. Um, and yeah, uh, all of this situation in the world right now, its I've been really lucky that it's given me a chance to really uh, reignite my passion for this medium that I love. And um, another big change for me has been that I've recently uh, moved out of home uh, and I've moved in with my partner. Uh, we've uh, moved into this flat here and um, during the move I realized that over the years I have amassed quite a substantial amount uh, of anime and manga and um, I have a lot of stuff. Um, the chore, the task that has been transitioning my collection from my old home into this flat here has been absolutely grueling and only slowly but surely is it coming along. Um, so yeah. Um, Again, as I said, I really want to engage with you guys. Uh, I really want to discuss with you what I like, what I don't like, what I recommend. Uh, I want you guys to tell me about what you think I should be watching, what I should be reading. Um, and yeah, just have all sorts of fun. I want to tell you guys about what I've picked up, uh, make monthly haul videos, uh, weekly haul videos if, if I get a lot in a week. Um, and yeah, just chat with you guys over on Twitter as well. Uh, I plan to be there on there a lot more, uh, really engaged. Um, and yeah, just welcome. Uh, this first video, uh, we're going to be discussing my current collection. This bookcase behind me is where my current collection here at home uh, lives. And I call it my current collection as 80% of my collection is still back home. Um, as I said, I'm slowly but surely moving things over bit by bit, but it is quite a chore. Um, and I do need to get another bookcase. As you can see, this one is already uh, pretty full. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into that. Uh, I'll be discussing everything on this shelf. There's some anime, some manga, some art books, some comics. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to look forward to my future content and really let me know uh, your thoughts your opinions and all feedback is welcome i'm hoping to learn and grow with you guys um, and again thank you very much for clicking on this video i hope you enjoy your time here thanks guys hey guys so hopefully that was a smooth transition uh, right here in the background you can see my bookcase uh, where my current collection sits uh, next to that is my small desk uh, where I've got my work laptop, a notebook and some other workbooks. Um, this is my work from home setup. Uh, I have been working from home for coming up to four months I believe. Um, and even though the lockdown has eased up slightly in the UK and more specifically in London, um, I will continue to work from home as my employer has chosen to keep myself and most of the staff in work from home positions. So yeah, this is where I will be yeah, for the foreseeable future. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the bookcase, the actual collection, uh, which is what everyone's interested in. Um, 
I should mention that the bulk of my collection and that everything I own, uh, whether it's anime or manga or comics or video games, lives uh, at home at my mom's place. I uh, lived at home for a very long time, um, uh, far too long if I can be honest. Um, and I've only recently moved out of home into this uh, flat with my partner. Um, so I have been slowly but surely transitioning uh, my collection over bit by bit. Um, it has been quite a chore, it's quite the task. I do own a lot of stuff. I have three bookcases filled with stuff at home. Um, and the only issue I'm debating with myself right now is whether I whether I really want to bring my old bookcases and put them here in the new flat. Um, the issue is that I started collecting um, anime, manga, started owning stuff uh, um, late 2016, early 2017, around then. Uh, back then I didn't really have a full-time job, I wasn't earning too much and the bulk of my salary uh, other than what I paid for rent and utilities would go uh, straight into anime and manga. I didn't actually really spend a lot on the bookcases and so the free bookcases I do have at home are really cheap, low quality, run off the mill bookcases. Um, so when I did move into my flat here, um, what I did was I purchased this really nice, quite expensive IKEA bookcase. Uh, but I'm very happy with it, um, I don't regret it, <laughs> um, and yeah, the, the height, the quality, the depth on, on this bookcase here, it's very nice, it's a lot better, a lot better than what I own at home, and I'm really thinking about um, buying another one of these, possibly another two of these, instead of bringing my old bookcases, just cause, yeah, the quality and the, the condition of the old bookcases, I should say, they're not just, they're just really worn down and I really, really like how my collection sits and looks on this bookcase here. So yeah, hopefully I will be getting another one soon and I will start bringing more and more stuff over to show you guys. But let's get started. Um, I'm gonna work my way right from the very top all the way down. Um, I'll stop to talk about uh, franchises, series, mangas, books, here and there. Um, and I know some of you might not be interested in hearing about the anime, or some of you might not be interested in the comics. So what I will do is I will leave minute markers in the description of this video uh, where you can hear about those specific sections or skip over those sections if all you want to hear about is the manga and the art books. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into it. Right at the very top, uh, we have my Dragon Ball complete box set. Uh, this is the original 16 volumes of the original manga. Um, I've never read this, uh, I've yet to read this, this is on my reading list. It's not very high on my priority list, uh, I will say. Um, I have, however, watched the entire Dragon Ball anime, the entire Dragon Ball Z anime, uh, the entire Dragon Ball Super anime. Um, so I do know what this is about, um, but I do look forward to reading this. A lot of people have said that the original series is quite nostalgic, quite different to Dragon Ball Z. Um, so yeah, I do look forward to reading this at some point when I get to it. Uh, moving down, we have uh, the first shelf, which is my anime shelf. And right here, this corner here, is what I like to call my Gundam corner. As you can see, it's all Gundam titles. Um, these lovely sets are put out by the same publisher here in the UK. Uh, that's all the anime, Anime Limited, and yeah, they put out some really nice sets, and I'm really happy to own them. I'm a huge Gundam fan, 
Um, I'm a big fan of mecha anime, mecha franchises in general. Um, so yeah, um, first title here is uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, the movie trilogy. I don't own the original series on Blu-ray. I unfortunately missed out on owning that. And now it's really out of print. Um, and when I've looked for the parts, uh, the collector's edition parts of the series on eBay, they go for quite ridiculous prices. So yeah, not in a rush to get that. I'm happy with the movie trilogy. I have seen it and I enjoyed it. Um, then Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam, Mobile Suit Double Zeta Gundam, um, Mobile Suit Gundam Charles Counter-Attack, then the two sets of Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, uh, set one to four and then five and six uh, really good series um, really nice animation um, you've got a space here actually um, as I've currently got my mobile suit Gundam 0083 on loan to a friend um, then we've got mobile suit Gundam Thunderbolt two sets so December Sky and Bandit Flower uh, then we have this gorgeous gorgeous set of Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, again by all the anime. Uh, I'm really really happy they put this out here in the UK. Um, I was very tempted to get the Nozomi USA set um, and importing that but it would have cost me an arm and leg. So I'm really happy they put this out here. Um, this here is the full series um, and the Gundam Wing movie Endless Waltz as well as some OVAs and bonuses um, so yeah it's a really really nice set I need to give this series a rewatch actually um, as I only ever watched this once uh, when I was a kid I think I was maybe 10 or 11 and when my friends in school had the DVDs and I remember going to his house um, and watching DVDs and I, we didn't even finish the series as he only had part way through actually so yeah I do need to give it a watch uh, next to that is Gundam 00 uh, this is the complete series um, again a really nice set uh, all the anime are actually uh, planning to put out uh, the movie so Awakening of the Trailblazer um, and um, I've pre-ordered that that's coming with a bigger chipboard box uh, to house everything so eventually it will look similar to the Gundam Wing set uh, and you'll have the series and the movie inside that box so I look forward to putting that on here as well. Um, next we have uh, Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion. Uh, this here is the set of the remake movies, the trilogy. Um, again Code Geass a classic. Um, this was probably one of the first animes that I binged, watched, uh, and finished all the way through. Uh, I really enjoyed this series, um, and I really enjoyed the movies. Um, yeah. Uh, then we have Eureka 7, the complete series, Angelic Leia, uh, the two sets of Welcome to the Ballroom, uh, a show I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I know there's a lot of jokes about the next in the series um, but I really really enjoyed the series and I watched it when it was getting simulcast on Amazon Prime um, and yeah not much to say Toradora complete series uh, Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai uh, complete series uh, the collector's edition set of uh, Penguin Highway I've yet to watch that um, then actually I'm going to do this here. This here is just a stray Blu-ray of uh, Cowboy Bebop, the complete series. Um, again, another classic, really good series. Um, and uh, before I get into that corner, I will just show you guys these two. This here is the collector's edition, limited edition of Promare. Uh, again, I've heard a lot of great things about this movie. This is by Studio Trigger, the creators of Kill the Kill, Gurren Lagann, um, and yeah, I know a lot of people love this, so I do need to give this a watch at some point. Um, and finally, in this corner here, we have Made in Made in Abyss, the limited edition, complete season one. 
uh, again another anime I really enjoyed um, yeah and here we go so story is so dark here you guys uh, here we have the rising of the shield hero uh, season one limited edition um, this is put out by Funimation Manga UK uh, here in the UK this is a really nice set I don't know if you guys can tell all the detail here but it's a really really nice set I'm really pleasantly surprised with this um, I think it's almost a duplicate of the US set that was put out um, really enjoyed this isekai um, it has its problems it has its moments but for the most part uh, no Fumi is a pretty pretty great MC uh, and Raftalia is a pretty great waifu to be honest and yeah I really like uh, their dynamics that duo have and yeah I really enjoyed this season guy um, looking forward to the next season um, next we have I'm actually gonna pull them out here we go uh, is my collection of the Kizumonogatari films part one two and three um, again uh, uh, yeah these sets are put out by uh, who is this? Uh, I think it's MVM who put these out here in the UK and uh, yeah I've not actually watched part two or three I've watched only part one um, I've watched all of the Monogatari anime uh, and yeah I know that this is supposed to be really really cool really good so I will watch them at some point um, and lastly we have um, Fate's Day Night uh, the movie Heaven's Feel uh, part one and part two uh, part two only recently came out here in the UK actually um, I've watched part one not watched part two uh, so eventually when part three does come out uh, I plan to watch all three movies um, yeah this is UFO table doing UFO table um, the animation in these films are, is spectacular um, there's some great um, choreography, fighting choreography, and yeah, I really enjoy Fate. So yeah guys, that's uh, basically it for the anime. Um, as I mentioned, this here is only a small part of uh, all the anime I actually own. Um, so please look forward to seeing more of my anime collection when I do move it from my old house. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment on that, uh, love to hear your thoughts. Um, yeah, moving on. We come down to my first uh, manga shelf here, right here. So, yeah, let's start right... Actually, let's start here. Uh, as you can see, I've started already double stacking, uh, which isn't great. <laughs> um, so yeah, but yeah, let's start right here. Uh, this here is the first three volumes of uh, the Bakemonogatari Bake manga. Uh, this is illustrated by All Great, uh, the mangaka who did Air Gear. Um, he's done a few other stuff. And yeah, they're really small but nice volumes put out by Vertical Comics. Um, I actually do believe I've seen some news that the manga is actually ending soon. Uh, in Japan. I may be wrong, but yeah, I think uh, it's not been going on for that long, so quite uh, sad that's ending soon, if that's true, as I feel like they've got a lot of story to adapt, so we'll see what happens there and how far the manga gets. Um, then here we've got volumes 1 to 12, and tucked away back here uh, in this corner actually is volume 13 uh, of Silver Spoon uh, Silver Spoon by Hiromu Arakawa uh, the mangaka of Full Metal Alchemist uh, this is a really enjoyable series um, it's a really fun comedy slice of life about high school students um, uh, in a small town in Japan uh, uh, they yeah they're all like agriculture students and the main character Hachigen uh, he's from the city um, he makes a big move when he uh, transfers to this uh, school and um, yeah the shenanigans the life stories the drama 
it's all there. It's a really, really fun series. And I do believe volume 15 is the final volume. Um, so we're just waiting for 14 and 15 to release in English. Uh, once they release that, then I'll have the complete series. And I plan to reread the whole thing as, um, yeah, it's a really nice series, really good series. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna move those actually so you can see what's behind there. So, right behind that um, uh, is actually mm, volumes one through nine of Full Metal Alchemist, uh, the Full Metal Edition. Uh, these are really, really nice volumes, hardback volumes put out by Viz. Um, I'm really happy I own these. Um, right before they announced the Full Metal Edition, I'd actually gotten really close to buying the full Full Metal Alchemist uh, series, the manga, the box set, so I'm really happy I waited. Um, again, these volumes are really nice, and yeah, I hope this continues to publish them as they, I think the release schedule is two or three months, maybe more in between, so it's been quite a wait in between each volume, but again, the quality, the paper quality in here is really nice and you do get some color pages in here. These spines look just beautiful next to each other on your shelf. Um, next to that, actually, I've got the Full Metal Alchemist, the complete four panel comics. Um, it's a really fun short read. Um, if you like Omake Gag manga, this is fantastic. Uh, some of the shenanigans that the characters get up to in these stories are really funny. And yeah, just, Really nice. Um, then we've got volumes one to five of uh, Witch Hat Atelier. This is a series by Kamome Shirahama. Um, and yeah, I hope I said that right. Um, this is a really good series. I'm really enjoying this. I've only recently actually read volumes four and five. And wow, I feel like this has a series that has a lot of promise. Um, I can't wait to see what happens next. The ending of volume 5 ends really good. I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm really excited to see what, what happens next. Really excited to see where this goes. So I really do hope that this continues to deliver. What I will say is that Kamome-san's uh, uh, artwork is spectacular. Um, the lines, the just the detail on these covers uh, is so beautiful and actually the detail inside too matches what's on the cover um, really highly recommend this series um, uh, yeah uh, then we've got volumes 1 to 3 of Watakoi Love is Hard for Otaku this is another uh, kind of slice of life romance comedy uh, manga um, I only picked this up after watching the anime I really enjoyed the anime um, I enjoyed the anime a lot actually and um, yeah these uh, volumes again they're two in ones actually they're really nice volumes put out by Kodansha um, really nice quality and yeah I hope we continue to get this here in the uh, West in the UK uh, I think volume 8 is the latest volume in Japan so hopefully that means we'll be getting volume 4 uh, which will cover volume 7 and 8 here in the West soon. Um, next to that uh, we have these beautiful beautiful uh, volumes of Aria the masterpiece or just Aria. Uh, these are put out by Tokyo Pop. And they're the only Tokyo Pop title I own in my entire collection, actually. Um, I remember reading some Tokyo Pop manga back in primary school, secondary school days uh, in the library, uh, but I've never owned any Tokyo Pop titles until they released this. Um, and honestly, I think you can see why. Um, these volumes, these editions of Aria the Masterpiece are just stunning. The gold leaf effect, everything, the paper quality, um, 
the color spreads, this, just this. It's so beautiful and I, I'm actually honestly quite shocked that Tokyo Pop put this out. Um, and I just can't wait. I really hope that they finish the series because it would be a shame for them to not finish it. Uh, what can I say about Arya? I have never watched the anime. Uh, I didn't know anything about it. Uh, I've now read all five volumes and it probably stands as one of my favorite slice of life manga series of all time. Um, going into this blind like I did was such a breath of fresh air. Uh, Kazue Amano has this way of telling stories that really just make you feel like at peace. There's no other way for me to describe it. The characters, the emotions, the events that take place in the manga, everything is just set up in such a way that you read this and you honestly feel relaxed and at peace with yourself with the world and honestly I reading this now during this whole coronavirus situation um, has been a, again a breath of fresh air I can't recommend this series enough if you have the money to pick these up as uh, these editions are quite pricey I do highly recommend you pick up volume one and you start there um, if you enjoy that then you know if you're gonna enjoy the rest of it Really, it's such a wonderful, wonderful manga and I can't wait for it to finish and for me to finish it, actually. Um, yeah, I might actually have to go and watch the anime and see what that's all about just because I'm really enjoying the manga. And just to say a last thing, this actual volume one is actually Aqua, the first, the prelude series to Aria. So you have Aqua, the full series of Aqua followed by Aria and yeah really nice additions really really good series uh, next here we have Pokemon Adventures Collector's Editions Volumes 1 and 2 so oh and here actually this here is a um, little Pokedex cartridge holder so I actually got this here uh, in the UK and uh, this just houses some of my um, Nintendo Switch titles, it's a really nice thing that I just leave here next to the manga, uh, yeah, which I display here on the shelf. Um, these two volumes uh, are fairly new, they've only come out recently in the last few months, they're put out by Viz, they're really nice volumes, I do wish uh, the paperback quality of the covers was a bit thicker but overall I can't complain I uh, own the original Pokemon Adventures manga the box sets I own the boxes for parts one so that's red blue and green uh, and yellow all the way up to the box sets for diamond and pearl and platinum um, but Viz have started to put these out and I might end up selling my box sets just because from the listings I've seen online, it does seem like there's plans to continue this. I know there's listings all the way up to Ruby and Sapphire at least, so I might wait a little bit to get rid of my Diamond and Pearl and Platinum box set, but I do want to get rid of my uh, first uh, parts box set up to Ruby and Sapphire as, um, yeah, I like these a whole lot better. Um, not much to say about the series, it's a pretty fun, generic Pokemon Shonen manga. Um, I do enjoy this a lot more than a lot of the anime actually. Um, the drawings uh, and the Pokemon battling, the, the stuff, the adventures in here, it's pretty fun. Really enjoyable, easy read and yeah. Uh, next, here for the final bit of my shelf of manga first shelf of manga I should say is volumes 1 through 8 of 20th Century Boys uh, perfect editions uh, so these here are again put out by Viz um, these are really nice uh, books really nice editions um, I do know a lot of people prefer the single uh, issues um, just because these spines 
uh, don't compare to the black and white. I do actually prefer the single volumes, but overall I really enjoy these Viz Sig editions just because they're slightly bigger and they're uh, two in one. And these covers are really nice as well. Uh, you get some really nice uh, color pages in here. Um, if I can flip to one, I probably won't be able to, but, uh, all right, no, oh, actually, we've just gone past it. No, I won't bother trying to get that to work. Uh, but yeah, again, uh, this is a really good series. Um, this is my first Naoki Urasawa title that I've owned and read. I've read all the first eight volumes that I own. Um, and so far I'm really enjoying it. I understand the hype, I guess. Uh, a lot of people really, really like this series and the first, I think I would say the first five, maybe six volumes up until the first reveal, that's all I'm going to say, were really, really good. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Really like fast paced crime solving action, really enjoyable characters, a lot of detail, um, and yeah, it's a really, really good series. I do feel that 7 and 8, it's slowed down a bit for me. I feel, yeah, need to wait and see what the next volume's like, and then I'll be able to judge it a little better, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that is my first shelf of manga second shelf on my bookcase uh, moving hey guys sorry about that had to do a bit of a cut there this really loud motorbike drove past and yeah so yeah uh, where were we right here this uh, third bookcase here this is where I have all my uh, manga and anime art books um, uh, I've also got a few other manga titles here, so let me just quickly talk about these. Um, this here is volumes 1 to 4 of Our Dreams at Dusk. This is by Shimanami Tasogare. Uh, this is a really good series, very um, thought-provoking, deep series uh, about um, LGBTQ people, uh, the LGBT community, the stigma, gender identity, and... Uh, I guess the internal conflict about uh, f those sorts of feelings, uh, finding out who you are, who you want to be. It's a really good series. I really enjoyed it. Quick read, only four volumes long. Uh, the art is beautiful. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, whatever this mangaka does next. Highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, just beautiful series. Um, next up is actually two uh, one shots, two volumes by the same author, Shundai, uh, as well, put out by Seven Seas. Um, the first one is Go For It Nakamura. Uh, these are two boys' love series. So the first one, Go For It Nakamura, here is a comedy rom com about Nakamura san. Um, it's a one shot of like short stories about him and. Um, this, he has this crush on um, uh, a schoolmate, a classmate, and yeah, it's just really funny. Uh, the second book gets complete, does a complete 180. Very dark story, very violent, definitely R18. Um, yeah, again, Boys Love series, very dark. Um, then we've got the latest volume of uh, My Hero Academia, volume 24. Uh, the first volume of My Villain Academia, I should say. Cover is fantastic. Um, this is just the latest volume that's come out that I've received. I do have volumes 1 to 23 back home. Uh, so hopefully I will get to show you all the other volumes next to each other at some point in the future. Then we have volume 6 of Infinite Dendrogram. Uh, that's a light novel. Uh, I enjoyed uh, the anime. This is like an isekai VR, VR MMO, similar to like Sword Art, similar to Dot .hack, um, nothing much to say. Uh, I've read the first four volumes of the light novel and I need to catch up. Uh, lastly, for manga on this shelf is my 25th anniversary uh, set of 
Magic Knight Ray Earth. This is part one. This is put out by Kadansha. Um, it's a really nice set. Um, a little overpriced in my opinion for what you get, considering it's only part one and it's only really like three volumes of manga. Um, I am considering picking up part two just because it would be a shame to not own the full series. Um, but yeah, not much to say there. It's a clamp title, uh, Maho Shoujo genre. Um, it's nothing crazy great. I do really like the art book though that comes with it. Um, but yeah, overall it's kind of meh. Uh, and I probably will pick up part two just because I'm a collector at heart and I do want to own the complete series. Uh, moving back to the art books, I'm not going to stop and talk a lot about them. I might do a video in the future where I uh, talk about the art books a little more. For this video, I'm just going to skim through it. So right, right, right in the corner, we have uh, the Evangelion illustrations 2007 to 2017. Uh, we have Soul Eater Soul Art 2. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one, which is a shame. Most of these you should know I pick up from Comic Con or I specifically order from one retailer here in the UK called otaku.com. Um, I have the first two hardbacks of the One Piece Color Compendium. Uh, so the first part covers East Blue to Skypea and the second part covers Water 7 to Paramount War. Um, these are really nice hardbacks put out by Viz in Japan. Uh, these are put out uh, in more paperback slipcover editions uh, that cover that aren't so bulky. So these are probably three in one if I remember correctly. Uh, after that is Full Male Alchemist, the art, the complete art of Full Male Alchemist. Um, again, Hiro Murakawa. Full Male Alchemist is probably one of my favorite shonen series. So to own this complete art of Full Male Alchemist is really nice just to add to the Full Male Alchemist. Uh, Alchemist collection that I own and honestly it's a really nice art book it also has a lot of um, uh, illustrations that the that Hiromu-san did for um, retail how do I explain it's it's got a lot of illustrations that you wouldn't see that from the manga or from the anime it's got a lot of illustrations like promotional art there we go that's it uh, it's got a lot of promotional art which i'd never seen before so it's really fun uh next we have the art of jinji ito twisted visions uh jinji ito uh, uh one of my favorite uh horror mangakas um this art book is a really nice art book put out by viz uh, again then we have uh mm, some of my udon titles so these are the Mega Man uh, Complete Works titles. Uh, so as you can see, uh, it's Mega Man, Mega Man X, Mega Man Zero, Mega Man Battle Network, uh, Mega Man Star Force. Um, then we have another Udon release, and that is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Art by Kazuki Takahashi. Um, really nice uh, uh, illustrations in here. I really enjoy uh Kazuki Takahashi's art, uh, there's some uh, commemorative art for like Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes, and it's a really nice uh, book. Um, then we have um, two of my Atelier art books. Um, this is uh, Atelier Sophie, uh, Furious Liddy and Swell, The Alchemist uh, and Mysterious Worlds, official visual collection. Uh, and then we have the Udon release of the English language release, I should say, of Atelier Adventures of Ireland, and that covers Rorona, uh, Totori, and Meruru, so the first three Atelier in that series. Um, then we have some uh, random uh, Love Life official illustration books. Um, uh, I used to play uh, uh, the Love Life. Uh, uh, mobile game, the School Idol Fantasy, way back when, I don't play it anymore. Um, I enjoyed the first series a lot, and yeah, I picked these up relatively cheap at a Comic Con one year. Um, don't plan to get any more. Uh, same with this, this is a Aikatsu uh, visual collection. Aikatsu being a uh, another idol franchise. Then we have the Yoamushi Colors illustration book. Um, really enjoyed the anime, never got into the manga, but I did 
find this art book for cheap one year at Comic Con, and yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, D. Grayman illustrations, Noche. Uh, this is a really nice art book put out by Viz as well. Um, uh, D. Grayman's author, Katsura Hoshino. Uh, I really enjoy her art. I want to say her. I want to say she's a she. Uh, this is a really nice book. Um, yeah. Then we have um, uh, the 20th anniversary illustration book of Pokemon Adventures. I really, really, really like this book. If you're a Pokemon fan, if you like Pokemon Adventures, the manga, you should definitely get this. It has some amazing spreads in here. There are pages that fold out four ways. I can't even explain it. Really nice a book. Um, then we have my Persona art book collections, another franchise I really like. Uh, we have, I think this is Persona 4 Ultimax, I want to say. Uh, this is Persona 4 U2, the Ultimax, uh, Ultra Suplex Hold, uh, it's just the title. Uh, I'm not going to get that back in, so I'll do that later. Um, the art book, then we have the official Persona 5. Uh, illustration works um, and then we have the Japanese editions of uh, uh, I want to say his name is uh, Soenero Soejima Shigenori Soejima I mean uh, artworks uh, so that's uh, his uh, artworks from 2004 to 2010 and then 2010 to 2017 um, Next we have the Dragon Ball, a visual history, again another really nice art book put out by Viz and this is really nice, very different, it's got hardback and uh, it's got slip cover, the, the book comes out of this, it's really nice. Uh, right next to that again Akira Toriyama, it's a Dragon Quest illustrations, really enjoy this book too, um, some really nice art. Uh, next another Udon title, not so well known though is Family Traits by uh, Thomas Romain. Um, so this is, uh, Thomas Romain is a French animator, illustrator. Uh, you may know him uh, as one of the creators of um, uh, Code Lyoko. It's a really old Cartoon Network show. Well, I used to watch it on Cartoon Network. Um, you can tell it's inspired by anime. Thomas Romain then also helped create Basquash, uh, basketball anime, mecha basketball anime I should say. And he currently actually I believe has an animation studio in Japan. He lives in Japan with his wife and two kids who are Japanese and French. Um, and this is a really nice book. Um, he basically has his kids, his two sons, do these drawings. Uh, most of the time they're quite uh, scribbles basically and then he takes them, uh, uh, asks them about what's inspired them to create those characters and then he creates the character uh, based on what his kids have drawn and it's a really nice book. Uh, then we have No More Heroes and Heroines, just a Japanese video game animation illustration book that I picked up one year. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul Illustrations, um, this is I believe the Kids Naiva, yes this is the Kids Naiva art book that came with the collected edition of the anime that I got here in the UK. Then we have a sort of, I want to call it like a visual novel art book by Volfan who is the illustrator for the Monogatari series light novels, uh, really nice art. Uh, we have Kazuya Kato art collection. This is the author, the mangaka of Blue Exorcist. Uh, then we've got last on our list of art books. It's the Kirby art and style collection. Really nice, cute book. Um, love Kirby, and yeah, very nice edition put out by Viz. Uh, moving down, we have uh, some more manga. I like to call this my hardback shelf. Well. Part one of my hardback shelf. Um, in this corner we have Jojo. This is all I own of Jojo at the moment. Um, I do want to pick up uh, parts two, uh, the rest of parts three, and I will continue to pick up parts five as it comes out, um, as it's the one that Viz is currently publishing. Jojo, another great classic series. 
uh, really old series. I know people have issues with parts one and two of the manga as it does feel slightly dated, but I love this series at heart. The anime uh, got me into this series. It's so over the top, so testosterone fueled, and I really just enjoy this series. Can't complain. I do love these editions, and as I said, yeah, I will. I do plan to pick up the rest of the hardbacks when I can. Uh, then we have Sayuki Volume One, the original series. Kodansha is putting these out. Uh, these are new hardbacks, new releases of Sayuki. Uh, I remember watching this series on Animax here in the UK uh, years ago. Uh, I don't know a lot about the series. I know it's a take on Journey to the West. Um, and yeah, I just, yeah, I will continue to pick these up as a lot of people have recommended the manga to me. And yeah, I will read it at some point once I've got a few more volumes, I believe. Uh, then we have Drifting Classroom 1, 2, 3. This is the complete series by Kazue Umez. Uh, this is a horror manga from the 1970s, I believe. Um, and these editions are really nice. This sick hardback editions. Uh, they look very nice next to each other on the shelf. I've read volumes one and two, and honestly, this is such a trippy series. Uh, it does feel very dated considering it came out over 40 years ago. Um, but the artwork is something else entirely. It's very unique, very vintage, and I can tell why people consider Kazuo Umez one of the fathers of horror manga. Um, it's a great series, slightly over the top. Uh, a lot of the stuff that happened is slightly unbelievable, but again, it's a very dark series involving kids, very young kids in uh, you, how old are they? I think they're nine, maybe eight and nine, possibly younger and maybe 10 year olds is the oldest kids in this series. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of dark, dark stuff that happened to these kids and a lot of dark themes. Um, just, yeah, overall very dark series, really cool horror series. And as a fan of horror manga, I really enjoy this. I just need to read volume three and that will be the last of that. Um, and lastly on this shelf is, uh, my collection of Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, the manga, the hardbacks put out by Vertical, that's volumes one through 12. That's the complete series. Um, these were one of the first manga I owned when I started collecting manga back in 2016. Uh, I, this was probably, yeah, it was one of the first manga I owned. I started buying maybe one or two volumes a month, maybe more if I could afford it on a certain month. And honestly, I have no regrets. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a huge Gundam fan. Uh, these editions are honestly just breathtaking. Uh, probably some of the nicest editions of manga that have ever been put out in the English language. Um, Vertical have outdone themselves when they did these. Uh, these Some of the volumes of this series now are very uh, expensive on eBay. Some of the specific volumes uh, go out of print. Um, some of them are hard to come by. So the fact I own all of them um, the, and I've read all of them is just really, really good. Um, uh, the art in here by Yoshikazu Yasuhiko is stunning. Uh, the the print quality paper, photo print quality paper, it's just, I can't talk more about this series other than if you like Gundam, the original Gundam anime, you will enjoy this. If you like Gundam, the origin, uh, the OVA movies, you will enjoy this. Uh, Amuro in here, in this manga, is a brat, and sometimes I hate him, but I actually do love the series as a whole. Um, and yeah, again, some of the nicest volumes of manga that I've ever been put out and that I actually currently own. Moving down, we have my next part two of my shelf of hardbacks, you could say. Uh, here we have a few more manga and to start off we have these huge three-in-ones, uh, Berserk Deluxe Edition that Dark Horse is currently putting out. Uh, these are 
really nice additions. Um, Berserk, again, another classic. I have only read the first three volumes. Um, I've never watched the Berserk anime other than the Golden Age movies, uh, but so far I'm enjoying this. I know uh, a lot of people want this to end soon. Uh, the mangaka goes on hiatus a lot, um, and this manga is slowly being updated, but I do wish that Dark Horse continues to publish these in these format, and um, yeah, I will continue to read this when I can, when I want. Again, there's no rush here. Uh, next, we have uh, Card Captor Sakura Collector's Editions, Volume 1 to 4. Uh, another clamp title, Maho Shoujo. Uh, Card Captor Sakura, one of the first animes I ever watched alongside Sailor Moon. Um, yeah, uh, I've been reading these as they come out. Um, and yeah, they're nothing much. Nice editions, a bit overpriced, in my opinion. Uh, then we have. Uh, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal Edition. So these aren't hard bags, but I just have them on this shelf. Um, but these are really nice uh, paperback slip cover editions uh, that Kodansha puts out. Sailor Moon, as I mentioned, another classic Mahou Shoujo uh, series. I, one of the first anime I ever saw alongside Cardcaptor Sakura, Dragon Ball, Shaman King, Naruto and One Piece. Um, and yeah, these, uh, I believe there will be 11, maybe 12 volumes, so uh, not long to go before this series wraps up. Uh, I plan to read it once it's complete, um, as I do know the overall story of Sailor Moon. Um, then we have Junji Ito, No Longer Human. This is a horror manga. This is, uh, Junji Ito is the illustrator on this manga, but the original story is um, based on the original novel by Osamu Dasai. Um, I know he's regarded uh, in high regard as like a really um, well-known, um, one of the best uh, authors of horror in Japan. I've never read any of his works, but I have read this volume and this is probably one of the darkest series I own. Um, when I tell you that after reading this I felt like an empty shell and I don't think I will ever reread this, um, probably not anytime soon, not for the next few years. Um, the fact that this is semi-autobiographical for Osamu Dasai is quite shocking. Uh, some of the stuff that happens in here is pretty tragic. Um, it's a beautiful edition put out by Viz. Um, this cover is amazing. The slip cover is really nice. I really like the black on, on white on this. Um, yeah, really nice edition. Really good horror manga. Slightly traumatic. I can't tell if I want to recommend it, but if you're into horror, if you're into tragedy, then you will enjoy this. But as I said, I don't think I'll be rereading this anytime soon. Um, lastly, on here, uh, the last manga I have on my shelf, on my bookcase, here is Transformers the Manga Volumes 1 and 2. Again, two hardbacks put out by Viz. I believe there's one more volume coming out. This is more of a nostalgia thing. Um, I have read these two. You can clearly tell these stories were meant for kids as they were published in uh, really shonen kids magazines. Uh, nothing too special, more of a nostalgia pickup. Uh, there will be one more volume and that will be it. Um, yeah, Transformers the manga, really nice covers though, really nice editions. And if you're into Transformers and you feel a bit nostalgic and you have the money to pick these up, I do recommend them. Um, yeah. So yeah, that wraps up all my manga on my bookcase. Um, and we'll just move on to the final shelf here, which is my small collection of comics. Uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about these. Um, uh, yeah, I've got a few omnibuses. So, Injustice Gods Among Us Omnibus Volume 1. I uh, really enjoyed the game. The comic is really enjoyable too. I know there's a second omnibus coming out at some point in the future. Uh, Super Bam Batman Omnibus Volume 1. Uh, there will be an omnibus 2 as well, I would believe, at some point. Uh, deluxe edition of Justice League by Scott Snyder. So, this is the Scott Snyder run. Um, uh, yeah, uh, then I've got a few issues of the 
The Legends of Batman. This is a published by a publisher called Eagle Moss here in the UK. Uh, I currently have over, I want to say, 65 of the issues that they published. These are all hardback, and I've got most of my collection of this back home. When you put all the spines together they form one image so when this does wrap up in the future it's going to be really nice to see this whole image spread out across my spine um, next we have Marvel House of X Powers of X uh, another omnibus uh, so this is Spider-Man The Amazing Spider-Man by J. Michael Straczynski uh, yeah love this uh, can't wait for omnibus 2 I do have it pre-ordered I've got variant cover pre-ordered I believe the, with the black spidey cover um, we've got a uh, one shot amazing spider-man full circle really enjoyable series um, fun read quick read uh, then we have three hardbacks by Boom Studios this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, this is a really good comic right now I'm really enjoying Power Rangers every time one of these comes out I read it in a day um, just really enjoying this Power Rangers comic by Boom Studios um, seems like it's not stopping anytime soon can't wait for these to continue um, and these uh, hardbacks are really nice they have a lot of illustrations in the back and yeah really nice series uh, then we have uh, the current run of Transformers in IDW so Transformers The World in Your Eyes volume 1 um, enjoying that uh, then we have lastly just two comics uh, Checks Please uh, 1 and 2 and just a novel by one of my favourite authors Aaron Morganson, The Starless Sea uh, just a really good fantasy uh, fiction uh, yeah, uh, really enjoyed her first work which was The Night Circus and yeah guys so let me just come back on that is my collection my current collection I should say Eyes of July 2020 um, and yeah guys I just want to say if you've stuck around this long thank you so much uh, it really means a lot this is my first YouTube video hopefully the first of many um, uh, I really want to take my time making videos for you guys uh, discussing talking about anime manga comics um, and yeah, I plan to do more videos like uh, manga pickup videos, manga recommendations, uh, whole videos when I can. Um, and for me, the big project right now is getting another bookcase here in my flat and filling it up as well with some of my collection from home so that I can eventually show you guys more of what I own um, so we can discuss, talk, chat, and yeah guys thank you so much again like comment subscribe follow me on twitter um and yeah uh if you enjoyed my first video then thank you so much for sticking around um please look forward to what's to come and take care guys